This is a quick disclaimer. This video deals with racism, bullying, harassment, and other various forms of sensitive matters. Also, I do wish the best for Edgy Void and mean no ill will towards him or anyone with ties slash connections to him in any way, shape, or form. Do not witch hunt any individuals shown in this video or Edgy himself. It will get you nothing but more drama, and I do not wish for any of that. With that being said, let's begin. Edgy Void, neither you know him or you don't, but one thing's for sure, you don't know his past. Edgy Void has a shady, insensitive, and slightly racist side. After seven months of keeping the things Edgy Void has done to me and others a secret, and seeing other content creators in the TF2 community suffer on his behalf, I cannot and will not sit idle and watch yet another person be slandered or harassed by Edgy Void. My goal with this video is to get the word out about the past experiences that I and other users alike have shared with this man. Let's first start with who Edgy Void is. Edgy Void, who I will refer to as Edgy, is an ex-TF2 YouTuber that made TF2 funny clip videos and would livestream occasionally. There's not really much to say about his YouTube channel, but his outside personality is blamed as well. All it boils down to is just him being quote-unquote edgy. More on that later. But as most things are, sometimes people are not who or what they seem, and this is the case with Edgy. I decided to interview quite a few people I've either known through Edgy, were there while Edgy did what he did, and or are friends with him and learned about what he did. These are the stories and evidence of these occasions. As everyone else is doing so, I will answer the questions as well. Question 1. How did you meet Edgy? I met Edgy through a friend of mine. I never thought anything of him until later in time. When I joined the group from my friend, I knew I'd been for a fun time. However, Edgy made that hard for me to enjoy my time in the group because I had just so recently joined. Question 2. How is Edgy Void to you in calls slash PMs with others? How was he in private? In other words, did he act differently in public than he did in private? Edgy in private was loud and rambunctious. Oh, fuck no. Edgy in public was loud and rambunctious, from what I recall. He was all about himself and had other people feel his ego by spamming in TF2 servers and streams of me and others sub to Edgy Void or some other degree of that. He would talk over others and leave others out if they didn't like what he liked or did what he did. Basically that guy who takes himself seriously when nobody else does. In private slash off stream he would be calmer and would at least let you say what you wanted to say, but he would be very lethargic at times and just use a soundboard to communicate with the rest of the group. Now, to be quite frank, he also did that on streams, but it was more common in uh, PMs and group calls. Question 3. Did Edgy Void do anything to provoke you or get a reaction out of you? Edgy Void never provoked me specifically, but was a result of, you know, getting on other people's nerves. He would normally say insensitive things on streams or on group calls about furries or members of the LGBT plus community saying that they should burn, burn in hell, die, or be eliminated. He would normally say, it's a joke, or grow thicker skin. I like to compare jokes of that nature to swearing. You can only make so many before and not only eyebrows begin to raise and people think lower of you. There's a comedic value to saying, oh that sucks, than saying, oh that fucking sucks ass. It can be used in a vulgar way, as in, oh fuck shit, that sucks donkey ass motherfucker. There's a complete difference between being insensitive and being comedic, and this is not one of them. Question 4. Did Edge of Void ever harass you or someone you knew, or perhaps some other form of childish behavior? Edgy Void never harassed me specifically, well, besides the fact of spamming my stream with sub to Edgy Void and my profile with minus rep, bad friend. Now, to others, that's way different. He harassed a streamer friend of mine, not only about items, but how he did certain things. For the item aspect, Edgy Void would harass him for items that were not meant for him, or items that were his under very specific and twisted circumstances. Like an unusual my friend unboxed, and Edgy thought it was his because he had traded that case to the streamer who unboxed, so Edgy thought it was his unusual. He also blocked that streamer, me, and several others on Steam, Twitter, Twitch, and quite possibly on YouTube. Despite the fact we kept open communication for him to come back and say sorry, he never took advantage of it and blocked us anyway. He also said things like, I have you muted, this dude's so fucking stupid, or some other degree to make himself seem bigger because he can. 
I can only recall two instances where I did in fact block him. Once was on Steam so he would stop spamming my profile, and once on Twitch so he would stop spamming my chat. Question 5. Has Edgy Void done anything personally to screw you over or other people? Yes. A big instance that comes to mind is where he was really sketchy about a uh, PC build that he wanted from Galactic Man. Not only that, I don't want people to outright block him, but I recommend hearing his side as well. You can't have an argument without two sides or a war without two powers. Personally, I say Edgy shouldn't be hated, but questioned. Question 6. Is there anything else people should be aware of about Edgy Void? Not really, besides the fact that if you get close to him, you should be cautious. Ask questions and be aware. So apparently, uh, Edgy wants to talk to me here, which is quite interesting, despite the fact, you know, after all he did to me. And, but, alright, let's go in. Fucking spam your Fucking shit your talk shit. me now, bitch, I dare you! I double dare you! I double dog done dare you, motherfucker! What's wrong, dude? Alright. What? What the hell is that all about? Oh! Um, what exactly is that? I still have him muted, so it's not oh, like what he's gonna say is actually gonna matter. I'm just living my anxious... Matthew, oh. bad time! Bad time! Um, no, this is the best time. <laughs> no, no, no! This motherfucker! Matthew, not now! Matthew! Insult me behind my back! Thinks he Matthew, can't you're walking into a shitstorm! Not now! What's going on? <clears throat> so, basically, this guy named. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, they're gonna stay there, but basically, what's gonna happen right now is I'm actually gonna expose cool stuff of what he's done in the past, just like he's trying to do with me. I've done nothing of the sort, and yet he's trying to pull evidence out of his ass crack. Now, basically, he's broken up with Sterling and made her cry in the bathroom, laughing at her as he got a new girlfriend on Amino. Bye. <laughs> Anything else you gotta bring up? Cause I like, cause, cause you know, I'd like you to make your claims here first. Oh, are you finished? Waiting. Okay. Well, um, you see, the thing about it is, Edgy. You know, it's like it's not like I want to personally attack you, man. It's not that, right? I wish you the best of luck, man. The problem is, is that you know, you're you're hurting yourself more than you're hurting other people, and you is know. Is he even saying anything? You know, the thing about it is, is like. You know, again, I wish you the best of luck and everything. It's just, you know, when you personally attack Jeez. people and what? stuff like that, and, you know, you go behind people's backs yet again and, you know, block people on Twitter. Why is everyone Twitter, fucking muted? Blocked on, like, um, Twitter as well. And, you know, personally harassing and I, you know, to me it feels kind of childish, personally. But, you, but, you know, stuff like that can be misinterpreted. But, you know... With how you were, you know, being horribly insensible about somebody using the direct hit, you know, calling them gay ass furries and saying that they should burn in hell, you know, it's it, you know, it's stuff like that that really gets me, you know, because you know that's 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 really wow, dude, you know. And unfortunately, he doesn't have the clip anymore, but you know, with like how you harass people, you know, it's it's not good, you know, man. And personally, it's something that I don't like, and a lot of people don't like either. But, um... Well, nobody's fucking talking, so that's great. So, yeah, you know... You, you, yeah, you know, I see we like just banned this motherfucker again. Yeah, you, know, you don't really need to do that, man. I don't think that's entirely necessary. I'm willing to approach this as an adult, my dude. Kick him out! Get him out! You, you know, Edgy... Arrest me and... You know, Edgy, this is really childish of you, you know? I, I it doesn't matter if you're neutral or not. St sticking by someone that just got harassed is the best way to go. No, I'm just saying, man. It's, it's like I cannot all... hear him because I muted him. You know, because I don't want to hear some cunt just randomly spewing facts out of his ass like they're fucking from Tumblr or some shit. Well, Listen I... here, fucking Facebook grandma. 
Hey, man, you know, it's not... No, I much. was just supposed to just scold him like the child he is. You know, I, personally, I don't think I'm that childish, but hey, you know, T.T. I just around. smacked him with the ruler, and there's nothing he can do or say to get me out of it. I mean, the thing about it was, is, you know, when Sterling told me that, you know, you wanted to talk, stuff like that, I was hoping, you know, we'd have a nice civil discussion and things like that, you know? Yeah, that's right, cunt. Get fucked. No, dude, I'm, no, I'm serious, though. You know, I was like, I figured, you know, we could put aside our differences, you know, just, just have a talk. But I guess you had other plans. Dumbass! I don't... I, d I don't like being called that, but regardless of the fact, you know, it's like, I don't wish to start drama, right? That's not the thing I'd like to do, you know? It's not something that I find enjoyable, and it's not something I like taking part in. But when you well, incessantly... This dude's literally a dumbass. He's not even listening. But when you go around and, you know, you start harassing people, you know, buying an HTC Vive, and being shady with <laughs> building computers, and, you know, lying to people dumbass. about, you know, Nike not having money, you know... It's not something I like, you know? It's not something I like. This is literally his brain. <laughs> I mean, not only are you not wrong, you're also being kind of childish. Okay, since you're finished. You know, the sooner he goes six feet down under, I think we'll be fine. You know, personally, I'm not a big fan of you talking like that, to first off. and second He should off. be able to be able to read the chat, so... And I told him already that I have him muted, so if he has me muted too, that's his problem. I don't have you muted, as a matter of fact. Because I don't, you know... If I'm talking with someone, you know, it's kind of weird. It's kind of hard to talk to them, you know, if they're muted, but... Why should I ask him? He obviously has me muted, too. <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not. But, you know, I'd like to have a civil conversation, oh, so... No. <laughs> I told him on several accounts that I can't hear the, damn, uh, the dumbass. Like, several times I said, I have you muted! But apparently, he's still just a ginger, and nothing's gonna change. What's the whole meta of blondes being stupid has shifted into gingers being retarded. Oh. I didn't know having a certain hair color affected your intelligence, but okay. Little bean. <laughs> Please. You know, I, I, I just wish you'd be sensible, you know, because I was like, I'm, move I'm him. not looking for anything. Move him. Move him. Why are you trying to move me, my dude? Oh. Speak to me. Okay, I had everybody else muted the, that, that entire time because... I was Tyler, trying... you foolish fool. We were trying to explain to you. You were talking to a wall because Edgy couldn't hear you. Well, I had everyone else muted because I was talking with Edgy personally. We but, were um, even texting you, child. I didn't switch back to other conversations. I'll tell you why later. Okay. Well, hold on. Stay here. One moment. Oh, this is, uh, this has been an experience, but, yeah. I tried to convince him to unmute you, but he's like, but he's pulling facts out of his ass, blah, blah, blah. Insensibly, not only saying I'm right, but also being a dick about it, okay. Well, he's being sarcastic, he means you don't have facts and you don't have any evidence. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I'm just, I'm just trying to, like, be a mediator in this whole situation, and it's going so poorly. Uh, I don't know why Edgy wanted to talk to you in the first place if he wasn't actually going to talk to you. See, see, that's the thing, though. You see, it's like, again, as I tried telling him, but, of course, he has me muted. I wish the best for the guy, you know, it's just like... He just hurts the people around him, and he hurts himself more than anything else, and that's the part that worries me. Alright, time to do some translator shit and tell him that you said that. Right. I got this. Okay. Well, Alright, I'm, I'm back. Okay, so basically the sentence summarized, or rant summarized, was proof or no head. I see, so it's not even taking that seriously then. 
Well, well, that's my wording of it. My joking wording to, like, lighten up the mood. You know? Trying to make things more positive. But basically, he was like, if you don't have proof, you can suck my ass. That's basically what he said. But not in that exact wording. How exactly did he say it? I mean, it's all baseless statements. Mm-hmm. So, the fact that he doesn't want to actually, like, you know, talk with me personally only adds to the fact that, you know, that he wants to, you know, get away from me personally for whatever reason. I am, I don't know. He if... said he wanted to be separated because his life is better without you in it. I mean, that's cool if that's what he wants to do. You want more power to you. But if you're going to, you know, you want to talk to me, then, you know, then... I mean, that's kind of an odd gesture, you, you know what I mean? Alright, one second. Alright, well, if she wants to be a mediator, that's cool. That'll at least get me the stuff I need. Oh, welcome back. Can I'm you back. Can be back so early? I quickly said it, and then I came back. Oh. Because right. I assumed you had more. No. Oh, okay. Hold on, I have to speak. Fuck, I thought I had a... What? Okay, no. I thought I had a sneeze, and I was like, oh, oh. <laughs> it was like that ha, ha moment of, like, whether I had a sneeze or not. But, essentially, Edgy was like, you have no proof, blah, blah, blah. All of the things that you have shown are irrelevant and over from, like, a year ago. So they're stupid and not important. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing about it is, is like, you know, they, they weren't over a year ago. In fact, we got rid of Edgy uh, from the group around April, if I remember correctly. So, unfortunately... Well, I have to write this shit down so I can, like, communicate this effectively. Because my memory is equal of a fucking dead fish. Oh, don't so worry. So I'm so sorry. I'm sure we won't probably be forgetting this conversation anytime soon. Okay, continue. Um, so yeah, like, I don't mean Edgy, like, any bad, you know? It's like, I won't associate with him, but I don't mean him any bad, you know? Go off, you know, you do your own thing, you do you, my dude, but you're hurting Honestly, yourself. Tyler, you're wording this so politely. If you want to go off, like, I'm here for you. No, I, I don't want to go off. I don't want to be impolite, because, you know, I'm willing to approach this like an adult, and if he's not, you know what? That's on him, you know? Understandable. You know? And I and I don't want to stoop to his level, you know. I I don't want to act like a child. But yeah. Okay. But, okay. Yeah. Time to communicate that. Yeet. Their take back to that was that was five months ago. It was half a year. It's irrelevant. Huh. So they don't really have anything to say, then it's just irrelevant according to them, which is quite yes. interesting. You know, to me it sounds kind of rude how they would want to talk to me, but not actually talk to me. You know, it's kind of weird, but, you know, I guess you can do him. Mm -hmm. um, And I really don't have much to say to him. I just wanted to be on good terms with him. That's all I really wanted. But, you know, if he's not willing to be on good terms with me, you know, whatever, man. You know, you do you. So, you know, if if, if he's still willing to come down and apologize, you know, that's all, that, that, that's all we're asking for. It's just a sincere I'm sorry. That's really it. We're not asking for much here. Just acknowledge what he's done and say I'm sorry, you know. Is really all we're asking for, you know. And I don't mean it in all a rude right. way, you know. That's just all we're asking for. That that that's all I have wanted, you know. We're we're not asking for much. We really aren't. But you know, you could do him. And I still find it weird again that he asks me to talk, and mutes me. <coughs> so um, I mean, that's kind of it's kind of it kind of defeats the purpose. It's like staying in a. It's like staying in a voice chat, but you're both muted. <laughs> Doesn't make sense. Okay. I'll be right back. Yeet. I wonder how long this is going to go for. And uh, so, I joking, well, I worded it as 
Tyler basically said, oh, like, basically, whenever I say it, I say it my way, because, like, I'm lazy and exact wording is stupid. And I basically just said an abbreviated version of what you said. I was like, basically, Tyler wants you to confess your sins, child, and just apologize for being a cuck. That's not... <laughs> Well, that's not exactly how I worded it, but basically then I was like, that's not his exact wording I explained. And then I said, but essentially, he just wants you to like recognize what you've done and apologize for it. And that turned into the making fun of you for being a Roman Catholic. Hmm. So he's... Oh. So, according to what I've uh, gathered uh, from this entire experience is that the only thing that he has to stand on for me, and I, quote-unquote, being rude to him, is just insulting our personal beliefs and insulting our looks and stuff like that, which is kind of low, in my opinion, but, hey, what do I know? Alright, I'll be right back. Hmm. Well... It's quite unfortunate that Edgy has to be like that. Okay. Welcome back. His official response. It's crude and rude, but I'm trying... Oh, hmm. His... <laughs> I'm sorry. It's kind of funny how he said it. I'm not laughing at you. Mm -hmm. I'm laughing what he said. <laughs> he said... And I quote, my official response is Pope Francis is dummy think. <laughs> sit on my face. So it's not going to be serious about the conversation then, unfortunately. <laughs> no, I'm so sorry. I'm not trying to laugh at you. But it's pretty funny for me to repeat Pope Francis is dummy think. I want to sit on my face. You can't blame me for that. That's kind of no, funny. But, hmm. <coughs> I, the only the there's only one question that I've left for him. Just why doesn't he just wanna speak to me like a human being so we can sort things out? That's that's really my only question with him. All right, hold on, I got you. Yeah, we're about to see. We about to find out. He says sort what out. We're already not friends. Well. Well, I'm just asking. It's just to talk with him regularly, you know, just like two human beings. That's all I want, you know. Okay. Hmm. So that's quite interesting. Anyway, okay. welcome back. Edgy's official <clears throat> response was, "I'm so sorry. I feel so bad for laughing, <laughs> but <laughs> he's basically screaming out his responses to me." And other people are laughing, which is causing me to laugh unintentionally. Okay. I'm not laughing at you. I'm laughing because other people are laughing. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. Just don't take it personally. I'm just laughing because other people are causing All right. <laughs> His official response was <laughs> to... Fuck. I'm trying not to laugh because I feel really bad. <laughs> His official response was... You can take your dick out of my ass, and then maybe you can consider it. Consider it what? I'm talking. Just, well, I guess if you can't say it, just write it in chat then. Okay. Just send it to me PM then. Okay. If you can't say it. So, I guess it's clear Edgy really doesn't want to talk to me. And he insists on taking this in a childish manner, which is quite unfortunate. It's no wonder why a lot of people kind of disowned him, I guess. And how he puts on a persona and that he's a victim. Which is unfortunate that we don't have any evidence of him. Just backlogged chats. Hmm. Oh well. Guess you can only do so much. He says that's even worse. Why would I want to text you? Tyler? Yeah, what's up now? He says, why would I want to text you? That's even... I'm just saying, though, it's like... 
I'm, All right, I'm, I think I, I'm just about to give think, up on this. Hold on, I think it's time for some divine fucking infiltration. Hold on, I mean that in the least offensive way you possible. I mean it's like fine, forced fine. talking. I mean, I'm fine if, you know, people just want to joke about the religion and stuff like that, you know. It's like, you want go ahead, do your own thing, you know. But it's when you start directing at, at the people, that's that that's where I have to kind of draw a little line there, have a bit of an issue with it. Like, I'm fine with, like, comedy about religions and stuff like that, you know. With, like, a family guy does it and dumb stuff like that. Like, I'm I'm cool with all that stuff, you know. Just when you direct it at me personally and other people, you know, that's... That, that that that's where I have a bit of an issue, you know, that's where I can get a little insensitive and you know, depending on how you want to take that, you know, go ahead, but to me it's a quite rude to do that, but you know what? You can do whatever you want. You're you're, you're your own person. So, eh, you can do whatever you want. And I'm cool with whatever. And see, that's the thing about Edgy. He's like, Tig and I have given him the most opportunities, and we're still giving him the most opportunities to own up and just say, I did this, I'm sorry. Even if he didn't do it, just, like, make it sound like you mean it, at least, you know? Just, like, the most oh, fucking welcome. random one. Alrighty. Don't say howdy to him. Hmm? You don't agree outsiders. Oh. Oh, Oof. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, Ed, 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 you found know. the right one. Hmm? Cool. Anyway, so Ed, uh -huh. do you still have Tyler muted? Yes, I do. Okay. I'll just uh, I'll I'll just wait for him to un wait for him to unmute me. Because as far as I'm aware, we all want him fucking gone. <laughs> I'm going to remain neutral in this matter. <laughs> You know what, if you want to remain neutral, go ahead, Sterling. That's up on you. Oh. Well, we've all been talking about it. I think it's got like if a $5 If I can't talk with long. Edgy and be sensitive with I keep with saying them, it's as big I'm as the fucking go. universe. Well, it's I mean, like it depends on how big Alrighty, I'm gonna get out of here. Thanks like for how... giving me the opportunity, Sterling. I really how appreciate it. How large of a... Well... That went poorly. Okay, so thank you for coming on today with me. Mm-hmm. Okay, so to start off here, how did you meet Edgy Void? Alright, so when I first met Edgy Void, it was when I was still kind of new to streaming. And, um, I met him in a random server. I didn't know he was in the game. I was just playing and having a usual good old time playing TF2 while streaming. But then, um, one of the people who was in that game that I remember by their unusual hat at the time, uh, left a comment on my profile and sent a friend request. And, um, I know, I, I was usually skeptical at first, because, you know, the whole random friend request thing you go through when you're playing games and stuff like that, you're not sure if you should, but I thought, eh, why not? I added him, but then next second after I added him, um... Edgy added me too. I was like, huh. And at first it was just me talking to them through Steam, but then they invite me to join them in their Discord uh, group call. And I was like, alright, sure. And then, uh, you know, at first, no issues. Everything seemed fine. It was all fun and games. Just fucking around playing, having fun, playing TF2. Just general stuff. No issues really arise for a while. Hell, at most, the only issues I ever had involving Edgy at first were maybe just his whole. Sparing the, the, uh, what is it, the, the, the sound pad, like, mic spam stuff, like, other than that, like, at times it'll be funny, but other times it'll just kind of get annoying, but I, I'll get back on that topic on when they get it further. So, that is pretty much all I can remember of when I met him.
was around when I first started playing, like, during my streams. Okay. How is Edgy Void to you in calls slash PMs with others, and how is he in private? In other words, did he act differently in public than he did in private? Hard to say, because when he was usually around me, he's usually always goofy and all that. But when ever, for, for some reason, every time when I stream, he's always been, like, I don't know. It's like every time he gets very angry at the game. It's mainly, I think, when we play TF2, but I'm not even sure if it's just TF2. Because it mostly only happens when we just stream. When I start streaming and he joins in and he streams on his end, occasionally, like, he'll just get angry at the game. Like, I wish I still had, like, the clip, because I the only reason I don't have it is because I figured I didn't need it. But he was basically going off on some guy in the call, when it was just me, him, and two others in the call at the time, and a couple of people who were watching, um, he was basically getting really angry about this one guy using a direct hit. And that person using a direct hit, I guess, had a furry profile picture. So Edgy himself was saying shit like, you know, you should go, you should go die in the fire, furry piece of shit or whatever, and all that. And... I thought he was mainly joking at first, but when I had other people pretty much telling me that um, he is uh, like he should stop, that's when I got angry because I was like, okay, I thought it was maybe funny, but at first it was like kind of like, eh, I'm not so sure. Um, but yeah, it, it, like, but when he's with the rest of the group, he's mostly joking and stuff. But. At times, it's hard to tell when he's joking, because he has his joking tone, but then he has his serious tone, and most of the time when he was doing, like, having this issue going on, he, it sounded like he was just straight up serious. Okay, uh, so next question here. Did Ed yes. do anything to provoke you, or get a reaction out of you? It's hard for me to get absolutely angry, unless I know it's angering others or bothering other people. Most of the time, it, like, at most, the only irritations I've ever gotten from him were, like, not involving two drama scenarios I had with him, but, um, was him basically constantly spamming his sound pad. That, like, at times he would, like, get, like, he would just, like, mess around with it. At first, it would be funny, but then after a bit, it gets absolutely, into, like, ir ir bleh, fuck, infuriating. It gets very infuriating when he's sitting there constantly spamming it, and at times, again, it's funny once in a while, but when he goes, does it like 1,000 times or whatever in a row of the same clip, it drops down, and when it's always like the wild ones on top of that, it gave me headaches a lot of times, because I had to sit there and listen to that, or had to straight mute him, or had to just deal with it, or just take off my headset and wait until it's over. I had to tell him many times, like, did not do it so much during my streams because I didn't want my viewers to get annoyed by that shit. And I rather like him not getting issues on his end too. Okay, so next question here: Did Edgy right. ever harass you or someone you knew, or perhaps some other form of childish behavior? Oh boy, uh, yes, he has, uh, many times, like, there's a few times he's done it with me. He hasn't done it with me in a long time now. I haven't really had any form of contact with him after the main drama I had with him at one point. But, um, basically, there, like, basically the first iteration where I know I had harassment was during the time of the first drama, where it involved a virtual item. So, uh, do you mind if I tell the story for a bit? Because it kind of corresponds with this a bit. Go ahead. Share whatever you want. Uh, okay. So, one time, uh, this is what happened. Edgy gave me a bit of a late birthday gift. Because I remember him saying it was a late gift and all that. And I was like, alright, it was nice. I love the idea. And it was a unusual fire talk. So, um, it was for the, uh, the... The Russians' arm race, if I'm correct. Yes, yeah, the, the push-up time for the heavy. 
and it was unusual for it. So I went and bought the taunt myself, because I didn't have the taunt, and he didn't have it, obviously. So I went and used it, whatever refine I had at the time, or whatever key I had in my inventory at the time. And I bought the taunt and used the unusual fire. Then, when I used it, I got a um, Holy Grail effect uh, Russian Zombrace taunt. And um, when I used... So I was like, all right, sweet. Because th when I looked it up, at least on Backpack, out of all the uh, other unusual effects um, that could have gotten that weren't... Uh, that were not Halloween effect, it was the highest valued one. So I figured, hey, that was a nice little uh, transition I got there. I got a decent, like, taunt with, like, a decent effect for it. So I figured, hey, it, it was nice. But then, where the real drama begins, the reason why this taunt was even mentioned was because of what happens next. Um, on Scrub.tf, I got lucky and got a... Unusual, uh, War Paint Scatter Gun. I think Crossfire, if I'm correct in the name. I don't remember it, the full name, I just remember it was a uh, Unusual Scatter Gun, Festive, Specialized. And, like, at the time, I was like, damn, this is the best thing I've ever gotten. I've barely unboxed in the game, I barely have money to spend on the game to do any stuff like that. So I just figured, hey, it was, I just felt, I was just happy to get it. And I had a chance of maybe getting an unusual for once in my life, because I never had an actual unusual hat ever. So, I was telling all my friends, I told Edgy and all that, because, you know, the friends. They were still considered, they were all considered friends, and there, were, there weren't no issues with me and Edgy at the time, at least not to my knowledge. And, uh, Edgy kept asking me to give it to him. And... At the time, I didn't really want to, because, one, it wasn't really, like, I didn't really, I want, like, okay, rewording it, I, I don't have money always coming in, so it's like, most of the time, I can't really just give it away, I want to be able to at least maybe sell it to get me a chance of unusual. Obviously, if I could not sell it, I would have just said screw it and gave it to him. I even told one of my friends that wasn't sitting there bugging me about it, like, hey, if I get, if I can't really sell this, I may just say screw it and just give it to you. So, that's what was going to happen. But since Edgy just kept bugging me constantly, over and over, and like, here's the thing, I can't go back in the DMs on that, sadly, because he deleted all that shit. He stopped, like, he deleted all of it. Because he knew, like, probably what can happen, like, I didn't respond to him in those DMs because I was in the middle of a stream. I couldn't, like, constantly stop to respond to him. But he had a fit over a, a virtual item. And then he basically just tried to slander my name with the group of friends in the group. I told them my side of the story. Everyone saw that it seemed very childish what Edgy was doing. And they were calling him out for it. So then, finally, Edgy went up and said sorry to me, but this is before he did that, though. Um, the next day, I just said, screw it. I talked to one of my friends that was still talking to him. I, uh, said, screw it. You know what? If he's gonna have a problem with this, here, just give this back to him. I gave, I gave my friend, which was, uh, I'm not gonna mention the names, I'd rather not mention the names, really. But, um, I gave, um, I gave my friend the taunt, he gave it back to him, and I know Edgy sold it and bought, like, whatever he wanted with it. I don't really care what he bought, he bought something, I know that for sure. So, the taunt is gone entirely, from our group. The whole drama about this virtual item is gone too. I still have the scatter gun, and I actually got a chance to sell it, to be able to maybe get my first unusual, and I did. That was long ago. But... After she said sorry and all that, I thought, okay, maybe there won't be any more issues. But he did harass me, and he was constantly trying to go to other people to, uh, slander my name. Basically saying, oh, he gave me an expensive item. Because that's all he would say. He would say stuff like, oh, he gave me, he, I get, like, he kept saying stuff like, oh, I gave him this uh, expensive unusual, when in all reality it was just an unusual fire as a, for taunts. And most taunts aren't really worth too much unless they're Halloween effects. And even then, barely. So, 
at times it was like hard for me to really just say, okay, really? Because at the time when I was looking at what the scouter gun cost it, it cost it like two to three times more um, the value of that top. So it wouldn't have been worth it in terms of a trade, and it wouldn't have been worth it because, in general, like, obviously, I wouldn't mind have given it to him as a gift, but at the time, I just felt like it was just annoying how much he bugged the shit out of me, when he could have just waited the rest of the day, waited till, like, maybe the end of the day, and not have bugged me about, like, asked once, and that was it, and then maybe there was a chance he could have actually gotten it, and I wouldn't have mind. But no, he chose to just kept bugging me about it, and all that, especially on stream. The main part that really annoyed me is he just kept bugging me on stream about it. And I kept telling him no. And I got really annoyed when he kept asking. But yeah, that, that's the end of the first drama incident I had. The second incident drama, oh boy, I know he for sure he tried to uh, constantly harass others during that one after all that shit happened where he would go on people's profiles that were associated with me specifically, um, he would just go spam minus rep on their profiles. He did it on mine, he did it on, like, three or four of my friends. He would just spam minus rep. For no reason. Saying we were just bad friends and shit. And it was really childish. I deleted all of it, but I kept a screenshot of one of the instances when he did it. Because, like, really, if you have a problem with someone and you don't want to bother talking to them again, you might as well just drop it, move on, and just go on with your life. You don't have to sit there and have a grudge over them. But, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the entire harassment part of that part. Like, I can go in detail the next um, drama if I have to, but I said, hey, wait and see if we have more questions. I do have a few more. Next question. Mm -hmm. Has Edgy Void done anything to you personally to screw you over, or other people over? Um, not to my knowledge, other than maybe, like, him probably trying to slander my name and apparently had a diss track from what I've heard he was working on. And so, like, I don't know, I, I've only heard of rumors, and I can't really say these are true. But I heard that he was making a diss track. I heard that he was probably wanting to try to slander my name with other content creators on YouTube to basically tell them that I'm just this bad guy and shit. But I had hopes for the community to just, you know, like, they'll, they'll look at his, like, him warning them, I guess, as, like, a, like, you know, it's like, okay, that he's saying to watch out for this guy, but they're not going to immediately think that's the issue right off the bat. They would, you know, wait until they see me for who I am in their eyes, not his. You know, get, uh, what's the word I'm looking for for that? It's, um, uh, I guess don't judge a book by the cover when the cover is basically made by someone else. I guess we could say that. <laughs> but not that I know in my knowledge, I don't think he has really tried to screw me over. I honestly don't know, because either I'm oblivious, or I just don't know. I only heard rumors. Okay. Is there anything else people should be aware of about Edgy Void? Like, the only thing I should say to be aware is just be careful around him. Like, don't get, like, if you're going to be close, just don't be too close with him, just in case if he tries to do shit involving you. Don't let him use you at most. Like, I'm not saying don't be ever his friend or don't talk to him ever again. Like, if you have a problem with him, tell him. And if he chooses to just, you know, react in the same manner he has react to us, where he just, either he goes quiet, says, oh, you just kick him, it's whatever, and leaves, or just mutes, or goes, never says a word again, then, yeah, you, you might as well not bother at times. But in general, I just say, be careful. That's all I can really say, is just be careful. We don't, I honestly don't know how he's been doing lately. I haven't really kept track of him at all. I only know just 
these are still around. That's all I know. That's it. I really have no other knowledge. Okay, and for the last question here, uh, do you have any additional information you'd like to add? Uh, the additional information, I guess, is the second trauma I had with him, where, um, <clears throat> this is going back on the same discussion about him, you know, getting angry on my streams. There was one day I, uh, I pulled him aside, like, I've been pulling him aside before my streams or after my streams to be like, hey man, if you need to take a moment, like, if you're getting absolutely angry at the game, if you need to just say, alright, I need to get off the game. You can get off the game, you can come back later after you relax, maybe listen to music or something, is basically what I told him. And, um, he said he'll do that. He said, yeah, sure, man. Because the only reason I wanted to tell him this stuff is because I knew he was also wanting to be a content creator on YouTube. And I feel like being angry a lot in front of the public is a really bad image in general. That's how I, that's how, what I believe. Like, if you're going to be angry and cursing people out in-game, like, that's just a really bad image. And the only reason I wanted to tell him this stuff to help him is that way he doesn't hurt himself in the future with his content. I want him to be able to grow and actually, you know, get a chance to be a content creator because that's the biggest thing you need when you're trying to be a content creator is support. Just general support. And in the way I was trying to support him, you know, trying to improve himself as a person. I wanted him to, you know, get up there. Like, he had a dream of wanting to be bigger than PewDiePie or Markiplier, but like, here's the thing, he could, potentially, yes. I'm not gonna deny that, he could, but here's the problem, when he's acting like a child, and treating people who actually care about him, that want to help him like shit, and throw them away, all for famous people, then I'm not sure. I honestly... Like, I would feel like that he, he doesn't deserve to be popular in that case. Like, I, I always will say the same to him every, every time I get a chance to say anything to him, is I hope for the best for him. I hope he succeeds. I hope he has a great time. I hope he has all the fun in the world. But he needs to learn that his mistakes have consequences, and his mistakes are his mistakes. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of at that moment, other than that. Like, all I just, like, all I ever want to ask for, from him is just him to at least say sorry and realize he's made a mistake. That's it. I have no grudge against him. I don't hate him. I will not ever hate, I will never hate him. And most I'll get annoyed. That's, that is as far as I can go. And here's the thing about me being annoyed. It lasts for maybe a day. And I'll forget about it. So that's why it's not a big deal for me when I get annoyed. Because it's like, oh, I'll get annoyed. It'll be like for that moment. And it probably won't even last a day. At most, it may last an hour. Next thing I forget. And I go, eh, it's, it's probably nothing important. It was probably stupid while I was annoyed in the first place. So I just move on. So, at most, I just ask that he, you know, improves as a person. As a content creator. Like... That's, that's pretty much it. Just don't attack people all because they have their views and they don't want to, like, if, if some people don't want to associate you, they probably have a good reason to not associate with you. That's all I can really say. That doesn't mean, oh, you can attack them. Attacking people is the least thing you want to do ever as a content creator is attacking people. At least in my eyes, it's the least thing you want to do because I feel like that just, in turn, makes your time as a content creator harder. At least in my eyes. But yeah, I think that's all the information I can really say other than that. Okay, so no other additional information? Uh, I try to think. I don't think there's much of anything else. After... I do know after like a good chunk of time after our drama, he has came back into contact and at first acting like it was all fine and stuff. 
I sent them a wall of text of stuff that, of what I felt, and basically how I feel, and everything. He said he read it, I honestly doubt he did, because it was a decently long wall of text, and for him to immediately read it, I feel like that was a lie, but I don't know, I can't really say, I have no proof on him lying on that part. I'm never gonna say I have proof, because I don't know how to really say he has proof on it when I can't tell. I do know he has cut contact for me again after a bit of that. I don't know the exact reason on that, but my guess is probably because I wasn't talking to him. And probably the only reason I wasn't really talking to him, because I was still very sketchy on the whole getting back with him again, because I wasn't so sure, sure. I'm not sure if he was trying to maybe get me angry or something so he can do something against me or whatever, but I was also just generally busy with other stuff in life. Like, I had my own stream I had to deal with, I had my own server I had to work on for Discord to make sure everything was working better, which again, I need to mess with it again, but that's a side point. But, um, I had my own personal things to do. He probably had his own. I didn't want to bug him at, at, at all anyway, even when we did have contact again, because I figured he had his own things he needed to do. So, I probably just felt like I didn't really want to bug him, even when we did got back in contact. Like, contact, I mean. Bleh. But, yeah. I guess the last few words I can say to him is just, I just hope he just, you know, he learns from his mistakes and realizes where he's fucked up. Like, I, again, I will say this. I will preach this shit to the ends of the earth. I don't give a fuck if it will mean anything or won't matter. I hope he does learn from his mistakes. And I hope, he, like, I really hope that everything goes well for him in the future. I don't wish ill intent on anyone. I'd rather not have any issues on anyone. I'd rather, you know, keep, I'd rather keep all issues down low or, you know, not, you know, like, at most talk about it. I'd rather talk about issues, sell them, and be done with it. But, to my knowledge, when I, like, the reason I kicked him and banned him from my side is because I got tired of him. I gave him so many chances to try to stop doing this on my streams. Because it would have hurt him too, not just me. It would actually, I have to feel like it would hurt him way more than anything. Because he was also trying to be a content creator. And, you know, just being a general asshole to people on a stream, even though they don't hear you, you're still doing it on someone's stream. You're still doing it out in the public for people to know that you're basically talking about this person. So it's like, why are you doing this? I see no reason to attack anyone. I, I, like, I may have moments where I said stuff on in-game, or not in-game, but like, I was like, this motherfucker, or something like that in-game, but I never really mean it. At most, I just go, God damn it, this motherfucker is trying to, just kicking my ass or something. That's about it. Most of the time, I just don't care. I just try to have fun and play. Occasionally, yes, I'll get annoyed with the game. Usually, I try not to. But sometimes it just happens. It's just general game stuff that happens. But, nonetheless, I just hope everything goes well for him. That's all I can ask. I hope he can learn from his mistakes and realize what he needs to improve as a person, as a content creator, and overall. And I guess that'll be my... Excuse me. That'll be my closing statement. Okay, so thank you for coming on and talking about this today with me. Mm-hmm. All right, so I just want to say, as a disclaimer for this video, I'm the one who met Edgy Void. As I remembered, I met him in a TF2 Discord server, which, if I remember correctly, it was either... I don't remember the exact server, but it could have been r slash TF, but there's another one, but it had, like, a spy crab. I don't remember which server it was exactly, but it was a TF2 Discord server. Okay. That's all I want to get out of the way. If I do remember correctly, if it is a spy crab, if I... If my memory serves me right, that should be r slash tf2's Discord server. So yeah, then it's r slash tf2. Okay. I think that's where you met him. Okay. So, here's one of the questions. 
How is Edgy mm-hmm. Void to you in calls slash PMs with others? And how was he in private? In other words, did he act differently in public versus private? I can definitely say that's a yes. But something you do need to know is that when you meet him and like when you first meet him, he's a, a very different person mm-hmm. because you don't know anything about him. See, when I first met him, he, he kind of bragged a bit, trying to come off as show off. And See, I had this problem where I come from a very upper class situation but I'm not upper class. Mm-hmm. So when people like that brag to me, I do this thing where I kind of ignore it and I notice it would frustrate him. And he, cause he doesn't understand. I'm not really impressed by his YouTube channel or stuff like that. I think he's an okay guy. When I first met him, like he was an okay friend when I first thought of him, but I'm not really impressed. And I guess he took that by offense. Cause I could kind of just, just tell how he was reacting to it. And what made it even stranger is that when, I remember the second day, remember how you were mentioning when he's around people and DMs? Mm-hmm. The, so the first day, he's different around me because he's, he's taking advantage because he's never met me. Yeah. And then he introduced me to a couple of his friends. And that's when they immediately bring up drama. Okay. So I ignored it. I didn't really think much of it. It was about that hacker guy back in the day. It's the next day when I noticed it's, he started showing signs of that he's got something wrong with him because so the next day he's mentioning to me about something about a, wanting a girlfriend and how no one loves him and he he's worthless or something. It was something like that. These were on my old account that sadly was deleted. And it was weird because he DMs me and messages me. I think I joined for a second for a call. I might be wrong about that part, but he was just, he sounded like he was going to cry. He just sounded really upset. Okay. And it was weird. So then after that whole thing, that after he got back from school, there was like he's like nothing phased him, like nothing happened. He just it was like it was like it was a joke. So I was thinking, uh, okay. And then I noticed after a while when we met in <clears throat> I think it was in Roger, um, he got more um how do I put it, cocky? Because when he met just started out streaming and was getting pretty good views amounts for starting and he got cocky because he sees that people all like talking to and they're really close to him oh yeah of course and he was getting kind of jealous and i noticed that when more and more started streaming the more people joined like you and everyone edgy started getting more cracked up and he started blaming and victimizing people and playing this weird card of everyone's out to kill me and get me kind of scenario. It's like a paranoid kind of... Like, yeah, like he's kind of like cracking up because there's so many people now and they all don't really... uh, How do we look at... He feels he's not in the spotlight and he knows just how everyone's like praising over him even though the thing is he only talked to of me it may be a couple other members in the server. It also gets kind of weird because um, I noticed that when you mentioned, because I actually had to stop joining streams after this, and I think um, if you know Luigi Fan, we actually stopped talking in the server, me and Luigi Fan, because Edgy was just really toxic. Mm-hmm. And I noticed. Edgy got more manipulative and lying, and he was lying drastically. Like, he said, oh, he stole the unusual that, that from me, even though I was there, and most of the people were there, knew it was a gift. Early birthday gift, as he put it. And that's true. And it gets weirder, because then he goes around saying, stole it, there's no proof that it's stolen. Plus, you know, I don't think it's the type of guy to steal something. I just think it's just kind of weird that he gives it to them and even says to the whole server, oh, this is a birthday gift, and now he's saying it's stolen because he couldn't get an unusual scatter gun because he did this weird thing when, before we met all you guys, we did an agreement called, which, by the way, none of us agreed to. He kept enforcing it. It was this weird system where if we were to open our own money for a certain amount of crates, he would then get really weird. Like, for example... I was a sniper and I think, I don't remember if I said soldier or demo. No, I think it was demo. And 
um, I got this really mid-tier unusual. And he was trying to say, since we made this quote-unquote agreement that we never agreed to, I would give him this unusual hat because it's Scout. And Scout's the one that they're showing on the thumbnail, which is such a stupid reason because it only worked with three classes, Scout, Demo, and Sniper. Okay. It fallen under the two classes I mained anyways, so automatically it's mine. You know what was his reasoning why I still owed him the money to? What was the reason? It wasn't just for the, a three-cent crate that he quote-unquote gave me even though knew and I knew that wasn't the crate he gave me. And either way, it's a three-cent crate. You could just use up three pennies to get another one of those, you know? It's kind of ridiculous because then after he was more demanding for money, he started going around, you know, like... I noticed that he just got more of a liar the more we got to know him because then he's saying, oh, I'm really poor. I don't have the money. I can't get a job. My sister steals my money from me. But then remember the PC thing I told you about building him? Yeah. He's telling me, oh, I'm going to give you $600 for that computer. I'm like, sure, I'll do it. And if you, you know, like I said, I can get the screenshots showing you the online receipts that I bought these parts and that I had to sell them later on because... I just couldn't use them. I, I lost $300, and I was trying to actually ha ask him, hey, you, you can pay me early. I can build it a little faster, and I'll just ship it to you with a discount. He's like, okay. But then he got shadier and shadier and shadier to me. He then told me that he wouldn't pay me that money, and that he was sending me through gift cards. I'm thinking, okay, well, what do you mean? And he went more and more and more vague about it. And then this is the part where I said, the deal's over. He asked for it for free. And his reason was to try it out, quote unquote, to see if he would like it. And apparently, I quote, if he didn't like it, he would give it back. Which either way would still screw me over because then I just built this thing for a lot of money. And I'm paying for shipping, which is going to cost a lot because it's a heavy computer. Yeah. So... It doesn't matter that he's paying it back to me. He just made me waste a ton of money on something that's going to be really difficult to sell in my area. Definitely. And, and you know, he, he I was ignoring him. And I was telling, you know, I, I, I'm not dealing with this. He offered me money, and now he's declining it. I found out from that his dad bought him a new computer, and that's why he was being like this. And But I was thinking, well, why did he still want me to build it then? He goes, I don't know. Because yeah, it was confirmed that his dad bought him a new computer when they split the money. And it turns out he's going around saying he's poor to people, but he's got a bank filled with money. So I'm thinking, why, why are you doing this? Because it's funny for someone who's going around and begging for people's money when he goes on his own Twitter and he's literally posting an image of him buying a, an Oculus – what is it? An Oculus um, – I don't remember the Oculus Quest. Yeah, he he buys a, an Oculus Quest, which uh, keep in mind that's a five to six hundred dollar um, VR headset. Yeah, and he he's going around like, you know, this is the guy who's um going around like this is the screenshot where he posted on Twitter. He he's going around asking me for a hundred dollars that I don't owe him, and he was about to do the same exact thing with. And he clearly has money because he bought like a five to six hundred dollar dollar, you know, wireless mobile VR headset that's pretty much a really expensive brand in general. And I yeah. just think it's really weird he's begging for my hardcore earned, you know, job paying money that I'm working my ass off to get. And it's just it's strange to me because I'm working for this. He isn't. He's his dad's giving him this money. So I'm thinking, why is he seeing his sister stealing it and then slandering us that we're all stealing his stuff when you go into his inventory right now, it's all there still. Oh, yeah. Even the, ta even the stuff I gave him is still there too, ironically. I gave him taunts. So I don't, I don't know. I honestly, I really don't know how to answer it, you know, because <sighs> uh, that, that's another thing I really can't tell you because I'll tell you this. He plays this role – as to go back to your topic, he'll he'll play this thing where he's a really nice guy and he really cares about you. He's enthusiastic. He's a fun guy, fun character. But then 
you realize that this persona that he claims to be, in reality, he's not an edgy asshole as he says he is. His reality is as a manipulative, mentally psychotic, ill person who doesn't even know the difference between reality over matter. And he seems to call people a friend when some of these people don't even know him. Okay. Like, I'm going to get into that a little later because there's a tweet on his Twitter that I don't know was clarified yet. And I personally did talk to this person. So I want to go to the next question because I'm basically done. Okay. So the next question I have for you is, did Edgy Void do anything to provoke you or get a reaction out of you? Oh, yes. Many times. Um, he would sometimes do this thing where if he didn't get it his way, he would what he'll do is he would have a hissy fit and he would try to cuss me out. Or at times he would try to poke at me. And for some reason, he would do this thing, and I noticed a lot of people do this to me. They were He was trying to slander my name. He was basically trying to go around and tell people, hey, he used me. He stole money from me. And it's like he has no proof. He's just just taking this out of his head, saying, I stole money from him because I owe him $100 for an unusual. By the way, this unusual is a $60 unusual, by the way. Okay. He's telling me, and he's telling people, I owe him 100 This is a $60 unusual, not 100 He's asking for the 100 because, I don't know. I don't even know where he got the 100 from. That's the funny part. Maybe I offered it to him just to calm him down, but I was thinking... And everyone was telling me in that group, don't give him the money. And he was provoking me and threatening me and saying, like, all this stuff, like, he's going to expose me. And that I'm a bad friend because I won't give him something that he didn't even earn. Okay. Let alone, I didn't, he didn't even, you know, it didn't even belong to him. Okay. So, yeah, yes, he did. All right. Next question. Did Edgy Void ever harass you or someone you knew, or perhaps some other form of childish behavior? Oh, definitely. Roger was a perfect example of this, and that's why he's kind of gone. I mean, mm -hmm. he, he did it with a lot. I mean, there was a screenshot, and I remember seeing it in like on him. He's been doing it again recently with Waluigi, um, in the friend group. He will he'll do it. What he'll do is he will spam negative rep, bad friend, fake person. Okay. And he'll He'll, he'll talk very childlike. He can't handle or ignore situations where, you know how like a troll or a bully, they want a reaction out of you? Of course. He, he, he feeds them heavily. And what happens is he'll then have a whole temper tantrum and start taking it out on friends and people. A perfect example of this was during a stream I watched where it was um, – just playing normal TF2. I was actually a part of some of his streams where he would do this. I had to leave because it made me uncomfortable because he started cussing out people in game. It would even start, you know, you know, swearing to the point where it's like Twitch material getting banned for toxicity. Definitely. He, you know, he was actually saying on stream to a furry user to kill themselves on stream, which could get him banned. Mm -hmm. And it was not happy about it. And Edgy just, you know, basically didn't just, you know, funny thing is, I don't think he mentioned this. After he blocked and told and left the server, he immediately went to me and Caesar, our Luigi fan, my bad, who basically he then tells us, oh, yeah, so he basically blocked me. He used me. He's a lying manipulator. And then he's going on childish, just talking trash about him instead of, you know, understanding the side of caring for him. It's like he has this child like behavior to where he doesn't care of what he's doing. He wants to stomp his foot like a kid and beg for what he wants. And when you do that, he makes a bigger hole. And then there's a, this is why there's a lot of people who hate him. Of course. He's childlike and he doesn't fix the problem. And, you know, I'll tell you what, he does something very similar to the YouTuber Keemstar does when they have a child temper tantrum. So I, I think I can actually bring this up now appropriately. Okay. So, I'm going to show you a screenshot um, Okay. that it's on his Twitter. And I'm going to tell you, I personally spoke to this person because I was curious. I wanted to know because they're an FF SFM artist. And uh, apparently he, he wrote in the description, not the first time people block me without telling me, but okay, you will be, not be missed, lol. And it, it turns out um, this person didn't even know who he was. He's starting drama and acting childish because they felt they were being stalked by him. And from what I've heard, 
um, they, if I remember correctly, in the DMs, which I will have to read again. Okay. They were mentioning that he was just liking their posts and just kind of stalking them, making them uncomfortable. So they told me they didn't really know him. They spoke to him, and he was asking for things. And they just felt really uncomfortable by him. So I had to tell them what was going on. And, yeah, it just turns out they just never knew him. So he was basically trying to start a drama with someone he doesn't even know. Okay. Like, it's like, so, like, basically, he just goes on Twitter, acts like a child, is trying to start something with someone he doesn't even know, and and then he goes on his day of saying, oh, I'm sad today. My friends are all fake, and they use me. That kind of stuff, you know? Oh, okay. I, I see. I see. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. Next question. Um, has Edgy Void ever done anything to personally screw you or other people over? Um, many times. Many times. He, he likes to throw people under the bus, and I, I notice he's really dedicated to that, um, that YouTube channel of his, and he, he, it's weird because he'll say you're his best friend, he cares for you, he throws you under the bus, he makes fun of you, talks bad about you, He'll block you and slander your name everywhere. And he makes sure that if you're not with a lot of friends and not that big, he will try to destroy your reputation in the community. Okay. And I notice he loves doing that. And right now he's trying desperately with I notice. He has a strong hatred with And I hate to say it, a couple people I do believe may not like him because of it. I mean, some people have a bad reputation with me because of it because I had a friend of his talking to me on Twitter and they hate me now because of him. And I was telling them, look, I-, I care for the guy, but he puts, literally, he asks, you know, I'm telling this person, you know, I, I don't know what to do. He gets mad at me every time I try to talk to, you know, I would talk to, when Edgy would talk to me and I'd talk to him and I'm telling him, you know, dude, I'm not being mean to him. He's just, you know, even I told him, I don't even know half the stuff you're talking about, why he's mad at me. Because, mm-hmm. you know, he would lie to people and try to get people to block people for no reason. Okay. That's where I can put it. Mm-hmm. Okay. And for the last question here, is there anything else people should be aware of Edgy Void? Um, definitely. And that is, don't believe in some of the stories he tells people because a lot of the stuff of his personal life, I still, to this day, refuse to believe because it's so dramatic. And he tells different stories to people about his... Uh, sensitive topic, particularly his grandmother's death. The one I was told was extremely dramatic, and then I'm hearing from other people she died peacefully. Mm. And I'm getting because I'm getting told she died in a hospital or that she died in his arm. Then he tells me that she's puking blood and blood is coming out of her eyes and she's coughing blood and slowly dying in his arms. I'm getting told so many different stories. Like another thing he was doing was he was saying he had one sister. Then he's saying he has two. I never seen his older sister. I never knew he had an older sister. And it's funny because if you go to his Twitter, he made a um, kind of like a family photo, and you know, there's three people and it's yeah. his two sisters and his parents. But I'm still really confused because I don't know what he's talking about half of the time. Because sometimes he'll say something really, really concerning, and then he'll never bring it up ever again like it never existed and it seemed because i'm seeing that there's some kind of psychological thing where it's like i think he might have a form of schizophrenia because he he seems like he hears something and it's like it's something telling him something and then he'll think it's the real deal like i think fame is something that's cracking him up because he's lying about being popular and he's a big youtuber and everything but He's lying that he's, you know, poor. He's lying about people owing him stuff and that everyone's an asshole to him. When all people try to do is sit down and help him. It's like, if you want to care and help him, you're automatically a bad person. Mm-hmm. And it seems like, I, I'm just going to say this, just don't get close with him. He's going to hurt you, and it can hurt you terribly. Because at this point, he, he's really not a stable person, and I don't recommend anyone getting close to him. Excuse me. Like, it's stressing me out talking about this because it's just. I trusted him, and he's going around 
telling people I owe him money and all this stuff. And apparently I used him, which I never did. Yeah. I mean, he uses people for SFM art. I mean, I feel like I didn't really do much to really impact him because he just seems he'll use you as a pawn for his YouTube channel. You you offer him a form of creativity. He's going to take you like a, a chess plate of the pawn. He's going to just throw you out when you're done with you after you win the game of chess. I see. So in a way, he's taking advantage of you? Mm-hmm. Okay. Almost not just almost everyone he sees. Because remember, you know, this guy generally believes he's going to be a big billionaire YouTuber, and he's going to use smaller people who are starting on smaller times on a bigger platform, and he's going to leech off of them to go to the bottom of the, to the top. And he thinks that using people is going to give him a good reputation. He's acting like that's what PewDiePie or someone else did. They used a bunch of small-time YouTubers and then throw them away. Like, you know, I I'm just saying, like, for example, he's probably thinking, like, you know, he's going to be, like, uh, PewDiePie and then someone, like, is going to be cry you know that you know that duo Indeed. and what he's going to do is he's going to try to you know leech off of just to then pick him up and then throw him away which he kind of did actually because he uses a lot of um stuff he would make for him oh so. definitely he's i if i remember correctly he still does have um the because he made in a, yeah because he made posters of all of us that were all like smash yeah. themed he still has mm -hmm. it as his channel banner sure it's slightly edited but it's still his channel banner up to this day oh well, what makes it worse is on his Instagram, he says unknown uh, anonymous uh, Arthur. Like, he won't announce who the person's made it. And since they didn't put his signature on it, he can't do much about it. And the problem is he's stealing people's SFM art and taking, you know, not credit, thank God, but he's just stealing it and using it for his own use and then going, oh, this person's a bad person. It's not like they took the effort and time to make this for me, mm -hmm. you know? horrible i honestly i think that my big word is just don't trust him he's really unstable and he needs some kind of form of therapy i remember i actually told him straight to his face you need therapy dude you're not stable you cannot make a proper decision without hurting someone you're literally thinking that you're this big billionaire youtuber but reality you're just some guy who lives with his father and his sister and you make little YouTube videos on your, you know, your dad bought you a computer that you, you know, you just play games all day. You know, he's not this big star who's walking on people's feet and stomping on them saying, look at me, I'm a fucking celebrity. It's like, no, you're not. Don't walk over people who even have remote depression too. Because he treats people with mental illness horribly because since he feels like he suffered, he must treat others poorly. It's horrible. Honestly, I, in a way, I feel he should be stopped, because it's awful how he's just his advice is. Of course. Because even because actually, now that you bring this up, I remember on his streams, he literally would cuss people out. In his like, this is something that you need to learn when you're a popular YouTuber. You need to ignore the chat. If you can't ignore it, you're gonna look bad. And if you could look it up on his YouTube channel, he would have trolls go into his chat and he would blame a random YouTuber for it and cuss them out and then get all pissed off and overreact on stream. Mm -hmm. Awful behavior. Do you think he might still have some of those up on his YouTube channel or have, or has he deleted oh, them yes. to, per to protect his no, image? They're, they're still there. He, he literally doesn't care. He, they're still up there. I know a couple of those videos too, if I could find them. Cause since he's been uploading more again, I can't, say what exact video but i know a couple particular ones that would still be up there if you want after this i can timestamp them and send them because you could just see because the comments will be deleted but you can see he's getting frustrated and he's smack talking the youtube chat okay and it just it just shows that then he's going on to blame some quote-unquote hacker and then he just goes into a rant and goes into like blow up mode and then he's like well you're blocked and he's like bragging about his ego and he's trying to look like he's fine, but you could tell he's hurting and he feels like he gets pleasure when he hurts another person back though. It's, it's bizarre to me. I really, I'm so lost in words right now. I yeah. See. Okay. Uh, is there anything else? The one thing I would probably want to stay and just get this out of the way. Okay. Is that just don't 
take anything if he offers you something for free. I did that before with a thing for my, like an outro for my YouTube video. <laughs> Luckily, he didn't ask for money for it. But I know for like objects or like in game items, I mean, in TF2, uh, don't trust him with it because he didn't just do that. To He's done that to multiple people in the past where he accused of uh, stealing. I don't know these people because these were people that he associated with that weren't with us. And he would get rampage mode and say that they stole. That's another thing I want to say because he will try to use that against people as a way to quote unquote sue. Okay. Since he loves that word a lot. Hmm. So yeah, I'm pretty much done here. Okay. Well, thank you for coming on today, uh, Galactic Man, talking about this. No problem. Okay, so thank you for coming on today, Waluigi. Yeah, sure, dude. Okay, so I got just a series of questions here. Um, so to start off, how did you meet Edgy Void? So uh, back in February, around there, a uh, galactic man, a friend of mine, introduced me to a whole bunch of a group of friends after my Steam account got hacked and a lot of stuff was stolen. And one of those people were Edgy Void. He and somebody else were two big heads in the friend group. And I just met them. And everyone seemed cool and sympathetic because I've lost quite a bit of items due to the hack. And then he and then Edgy Void said, "Hey, what? A, that's 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 unfortunate, man. Uh, here, have a few hats." So he gave me a bunch of hats from the game Team Fortress 2. I was really grateful because I lost a lot of stuff there. And I thought that was a pretty cool gesture. Mm -hmm. But uh, but after a while, uh, he, this whole drama happened with this, the other kingpin of the friend group. And then afterwards, he said, "Hey man, can I can I have my stuff back? Can I have my stuff back?" After he he gave me the presents already, and um, then I just said, "Hey, but that's not how gifts work. You've given them to me, and it's got all defensive." Just like, "What do you mean, man? I give you the hats. Now you have to give them. You you own, you own me, dude." Hold on. And um. Yeah, that's just the gist of it. A whole bunch of stuff happened on Twitter with me and him afterwards, and then he just ended up blocking me. Thank God. I see. Okay, um, is there anything else you wanted to add on to that? Uh, nothing much, just besides uh, those tweets were a bit vulgar. Okay. Um, how was Edgy Void to you in calls slash PMs with others, and how was he in private? I guess in other words, uh, did he act differently in public than he did in private? I wasn't in very many private calls with him, but from my, from what I was, he was in public very loud, lots of use of a soundboard, and lots of promotion of himself. In private calls, he was a bit more chill, but a bit more narcissistic than most people appreciate. For example, um, a streamer I'd like, I watch quite often. Whenever he appeared in the stream, he would blast soundboards and go, go subscribe to my channel, or oh, go, 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 and like spam it, like to the point of just ruining the stream for everyone except himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, did Edgy Void ever harass you or someone you knew, or perhaps maybe some other form of childish behavior? Uh, yeah, actually. So, I'll go into the other people before myself first. I won't, okay. I'm pretty sure the other interviewees have already covered this, but he he gave, I think, a crate to one of the guys. And when they unboxed the crate, they got this really sweet unusual. And Edward was really jealous from what I knew. And he was like, man, come on, you, you owe me, I gave you that crate, give me the unusual. And he got so pissed off. The other guy, you see it? He said, "You know what? Fuck it. Have it. Just leave me alone." He 
he called some guy another British dude that I like that's really nice he kept harassing him for no reason accusing some people of hacking his discord no proof and me it never happened he was really nice to me until that whole thing happened with the unusual then he started trying to take everything he gave me as a gift back and when I said no, firstly he blocked me on Steam, so I couldn't contact him then. And then, afterwards, he just kept harassing me on Twitter. Calling me all sorts of names, tr untrustworthy. And I will admit, I did maybe tweet one or two mean things, maybe comment on his YouTube. Mm -hmm. But not close to the stuff that he posted. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, anything else to add to that? Uh, some of the people he did harass had nothing to do with it. And he was really overpowering in chat. For example, like, when me and the streamer dude would talk about, like, I don't know, the GameCube or something, he'd just be really loud and barge in and say, like, Hey guys, what's up? You know? Maybe, I don't know if he meant it intentionally, but he'd always, like, over talk over me and others. Okay. Uh, did Edgy Void do anything to provoke you or get a reaction out of you? Um, just maybe, like, for the first few weeks that I'd known him, he called me, like, Elephant Tamer, because I come from South Africa, personally. But everyone's sort of calling me that. That was more of a just, I wasn't used to it. But then he asked for gifts back, which I, which is just really rude. And that got me kind of in an anger. And when he talk over me, it, it usually wouldn't anger me until, I don't know, third or fourth time in each day. Mm hmm Anything else? Um, not much, really. Just that he, uh, he's kind of one of the reasons one of my friends is in his best, best state of mind. Okay. Has Edgy Void done anything to personally screw you or other people over? Again, yeah, he, um, I'm not sh so sure that he did this, but there was some whole thing. He, uh, he went for me and this other dude. The other dude's gone now. He doesn't really talk with us anymore. That apparently we deleted a bunch of stuff in his server. Now, at the time, I was away. I was at the beach. I didn't have access to my Discord at the time because there's no internet. So he was like, hey man, why'd you delete all this, this? And, okay, he did send me it. It was my profile, but I had nothing to do with it. He kept hammering me that, hey, you did this. And I have proof that I wasn't online. Uh, my friend, he took a bunch of pictures. I wasn't online. A video of the whole thing, I wasn't online. The whole funny thing was, uh, apparently, this other dude that I told you wasn't here hacked into my account. I have no proof of this, so I've either someone was, uh, what's the word, trying, they were f trying to be me. An impersonator? Know? Yeah, trying like, imp like a fake account, somehow got admin, maybe a friend fucking with him, but he went straight for me and this other dude, so I have no idea why, I barely knew the guy, I was just had a friend role in the server, so I can even delete channels, but anyway. Okay, uh, is is that all for that? Yeah. Okay. And uh, for the last question here, is there anything else people should be aware of about Edgy Void? He can't take a joke. He's really... His ego is really big and really sensitive. Kind of like a, a spit bubble. Or like a, just the, one of those mega bubbles. They're really big, you know? It looks really impressive. But as soon as you, like, like flick it or, like, throw a twig at it, it like explodes into this 
big narcissistic rage. Also, uh, he doesn't know when you're joking as well. I made a joke that he should play this shitty f uh, joke game, Fire Master Keem Stars. And he went through with it, like, it was actually a video suggestion. It's more of a, he's just kind of not that smart, but otherwise, that's all I got. Alright, so like any other last bits you want to add here, or? Uh, just that you've been great. Thanks for doing all of this. Okay, uh, thank you for coming on uh, today, Waluigi, and sharing your opinions and thoughts. Yeah, sure, man, whatever you want. Thank you for coming on today, Luigi. You got it. So, how did you meet Edgy Void? I met him... This is how my first interaction with Edgy was... Galactic Man watched me on Twitch and he joined my Discord server. So then one time in my server he said he was going to do unboxings. I asked, could I watch? So they invited me to the call, and that's the first time that I met Edgy and, and a couple of others. Okay. Uh, any, anything else you'd like to add? Mm, that's really how it went. They just unboxed, and I watched. Okay. Uh, how was Edgy Void to you in calls slash PMs with others, and how was he in private? In other words, did he act differently in public than he did in private? In private, he was a little more quieter because me and him didn't really know that much, like, each other-wise, so we didn't really talk that much. So in PMs, he was a little more quieter, but in groups, he was a lot, like, louder and a bit more toxic. Okay. Uh, did Edgy Void do anything to provoke you or get a reaction out of you? Uh, he never really tried to provoke me or get a reaction. Okay. Uh, did Edgy Void ever harass anyone you knew or perhaps some other form of childish behavior or harass you? He never harassed me, but he harassed me and yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you go into detail or... Sometimes in DMs when we were making, or not DMs, in group calls, for example, when we made one joke, and then, like, for example, Edgy said something, and then we joked, but it was a joke towards, like, Edgy, but everyone was laughing. He started, like, calling the certain person out, even though it was just a joke. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, has Edgy Void ever done anything to personally screw you or other people over? For me personally, he never really uh, did anything to me. He kind of just left me on the side. Mm -hmm. How about other people? Other people just that, that I know of at least. Okay. Uh, is there anything else people should be aware of about Edgy Void? that just he's overly dramatic and a bit too toxic at times mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else you'd like to add mm, nah okay. that's my input okay thank you for coming on today Luigi fan you got it Thank you for coming on today, Undead. No problem. Alrighty. So, first question here. How did you meet Edgy Void? No, I met him when uh, I first met. Okay. Uh, how was Edgy Void doing calls slash PMs with others? And how was he in private? In other words, did he act differently in public than he did in private? Uh, he did act a little off when he was in public, uh, like the public chats and stuff, but when it was in private, he was very toxic. As in, like, an example of? Like, he was, he was always, like, 
saying things, like criticizing people of things, things along those lines, okay. calling people like they're bad at the game when they're really not. Hmm. Uh, did Edge of Void do anything to provoke you or get a reaction out of you? Uh, he would taunt me about like, uh, like if I was bad at the game or tell me things that weren't true about me. Okay. I don't quite remember what they were, but I do know that he did say some things. I just don't remember quite what they were. Alrighty. Uh, anything else? Uh, not that I know of. Okay. Did Edgy Void ever harass you or someone you knew, or perhaps some other form of childish behavior? Uh, towards me, he would say that I'm a traitor at times. Uh, he would act very childish. He wasn't mature at all. Um. Other than that, I don't know what else to say. All right. Uh, has Ezzy Void ever done anything personally to screw you or other people over? Um. Probably, but I don't remember. Okay. Uh, last question here. Is there anything else people should be aware of about Edgy Void? Just stay away from this guy. Don't interact with him. Don't do anything towards him. It's better off if you just leave him alone, let him do his thing, and he's not going to fuck with you. Alright, anything else you want to add? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming on and talking with me today, Undead. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. Alright, so thank you for coming on today, Lucas. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Anytime. Alright. <laughs> uh, I just got a few questions here to ask you. Okay. So, first question. How did you meet Edgy Void? I met him because... It was one of, the, I think it might have been the third time I was talking with him in his server. And I was looking around in all the different, like, chats. And I saw him talking, and I was just talking around with him, stuff like that. He was, like, he didn't seem all too bad at the start. It was a lot more, th he he wasn't, I'll, I'll, I'll avoid rambling. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll get to that when we need to. Okay. So, so you just met him in a streamer's server, then? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how is Itchy Void to you in calls and, sl and PMs with others, and how is he in private? So, in other words, did he act differently in public than he did in private? I never talked to him privately. Okay. Because here was the thing, was he kind of... Ever since I started talking with them, he seemed to become just a bit different because as I had been told by it, that he was like much nicer and a lot more stable before whenever I talked to him he just because this is the best example that I can give of that I was in this server with him because they were it was a whole group thing that he had set up or something where everybody was going to work on one thing for a single YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. And I was supposed to be like a scriptwriter. But thing was, was I applied for that. He let me in. And then I just had to go leave for something. I think it was a game of softball. And whenever I had come back, he expected something done. He expected something written, like a whole script and a whole plot point crap like that. In 30 minutes. Jeez. He didn't give me any details. He didn't say anything. He just said, go. Because the, the, worst, the worst reason, the biggest reason that I find that's the best example is because he didn't support me in any way. He didn't try to help me out with this. I asked him. He just said, oh, go do whatever you want as long as it's TF2 related, which doesn't make any sense. 
Okay. So was this meant and... to be like a um like sorry to interrupt, but was this supposed to be like um like a TF two thing like Team Neighborhood or is this supposed to be like a simple writing challenge? Uh well from what I remember, it was a big channel based on it was a big YouTube channel thing he was setting up based on just like funny skits and stuff like that. So okay. he expected me to write like a skit, like a whole skit in thirty minutes. Jeez. With, he didn't say, "Oh, uh, do it with make a soldier and scout family, and then make some funny jokes about that or something." No, he didn't say anything. Mm -hmm. He just kind of made it really tough on me. Then after, because there were other people in the call too, other people were trying to defend me too because there was it was it was just really stupid. And then afterwards, he fired me, kicked me from the server, and yeah. I see. That wasn't the last time I talked to him, and that wasn't the last time I heard about him. It's just, I wasn't exactly a good experience. Hmm. Hmm. I see. Okay. Um, did Edgy Void do anything to provoke you or get a reaction out of you? Hmm. It was kind of hard to tell because. He just seemed to be very... He just didn't seem to like me very much. And I always made a joke, aw, I'm like a better version of him. But that was always just a joke. I never said that to him directly. Because, you know, that just seems like a really rude thing to do. But mm -hmm. I would say jokes like that to, like... Because Edgy would constantly get angry at me for something. And I remember the one time... I... Okay, I'm I'm not going to say it because I don't fully remember, but he just, I remember the one day he got really angry at me for a joke that I made, which I specifically told him afterwards it was a joke, and I specifically told him that it in no way, it in no way was meant to, you know, make him angry or anything, but he got angry at me anyways. I don't remember the joke, but I do remember that happening. I see. Uh, anything else to add? Well, not really. I mean, if there's any other questions. <laughs> oh, yes, there's other questions. Um, so, did Edgy Void ever harass you or someone you knew or some other form of childish behavior? Well, I remember being, well, just talking with during one of his streams, and because this was, like, recently after they had, like, tried to avoid him, he was spamming um, comment section on his Steam, and he was spamming his streams. He was just spamming just re definitely really rude stuff onto their profiles, comments, stuff mm -hmm. like that. I don't remember him doing it to anyone else other than him. Okay. Anything else? Mm. Well, I do remember... He tried to, um, somebody, I don't remember explicitly who, somebody unboxed a really cool scattergun. And Edgy Void tried to get it from them over and over again. It was, he was pretty much just like maliciously harassing that person just so he could get that weapon. Mm -hmm. I, <sighs> yeah, I that's... I think you're probably talking about the streamer themselves because they had won it out of a giveaway. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I remember. Okay. Um, let's see here. So, uh, is there anything else you'd like to add to that? Mm, nah. Okay. Um... So, next question here. Has Edgyvoid done anything to personally screw you or other people over? Kind of... Define what you mean by that. As in trying to use you. Uh, I remember... I remember my friends talking a lot about him trying to use them for something or manipulating things or twisting words around to get them to take his side but he never tried to do it on me and 
I, I made jokes with them about it. I said, I I found that I would always see through his schemes. I mean, as much as it makes him sound like an evil person, he never was explicitly evil. He just, he never, he was never very nice. And he never, as I said, he never tried anything on me, but I know he tried it on other people. <laughs> well, unless they were just lying to me. But... <laughs> I see. Um, anything else you'd like to add? Mm, no. Okay. Uh, is there anything else people should be aware of about Edgy Void? I mean, if you meet him, just take everything he says with a grain of salt. And I mean, he's not a bad person. He just kind of... Ugh, it's just kind of hard to stick around with him. He seems to bounce with people a lot. Mm-hmm. Because, I mean, if I could repair relations with him, I would. I mean, I'd do that with pretty much anyone. It's just, I think even the streamer would do that. It's just, he's not, he doesn't make it easy. Oh, I mean, I feel the same way. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting in contact with Edgy Void again. It's just how he's being is not, is not something I'd like to be associated with either. Hmm. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to add? Uh, no. Nope. Okay, uh, that's all the questions I have here for you. Uh, thank you for, for uh, thank you for participating. Yeah. Okay. Anytime. <laughs>
In other words, did he act differently in public than he did in private? Not necessarily. No. Um, he was, well, he used to always be like a, just a friendly guy. Uh, he's changed now, but he was just chill. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, did Edgy Boy do anything to provoke you or get a reaction out of you? Um, well, just recently he tried to start drama in my server. He said he was trying to stop the drama, but he was bringing it into my server, even though rules clearly state no drama. He didn't stop, and he started, like, messaging me about, like, how we shouldn't be friends anymore, and um, take, taking sides, and how, like, you're trying to go through me to get to other people, which I don't believe, because you've never done anything to try to get to anyone, so it's like, he's, he's changed. <laughs> And he's he's going off off the edge right now. Mm -hmm. Anything else you like to add? Um, not really. Okay. Uh, did Edgy Void ever do anything to harass you or someone you knew, or perhaps some other form of childish behavior? Um. Well, on his server, well, for like childish stuff, he pretty much said anyone associated with like me, you, and like a few other people, like and all that he said that they'll be banned if they like associate with us and all that which is just obscenely childish um he he gets angry over like the tiniest things it's just mm -hmm. okay uh has edgy void done anything to personally screw you or other people over um well, not that I really know of, except for the stuff I've mentioned. Just, yeah. Hmm. Okay, uh, is there anything else people should be aware of about Edgy Void? Um, he can be kind of, like, paranoid, a little bit, like, deceptive. He pretty much, at first he'll be friendly, but then after he'll stop listening, he'll, he'll change after a while. Okay. Uh, any last points to note? Uh, no. No. I, th I think that's all. Okay. Well, thank you for coming on today and talking about this, Timberfins. Thank you. So, as it turns out, Edgy Void has decided to go onto Timberfins' server and complain about the two-hour video I'm making. He found out about it, which is fine, because this is during mid-production. As you can see, I basically have a lot of the video done. But, on Discord, he's complaining about it. Saying that he heard about it, and that he wants me to grow up or leave the community. And he's talking about Timberfins' rule of no drama of any kind. So, why is he bringing it up in the server? Like, he left the server because I was in there. You, uh, you can see that screenshot right up on screen right now, of him basically telling Timberfins, Hey... I don't want him in the server because he's going to start stuff and he's using you to get to doozy and stuff like that or whatever. And essentially, uh, everyone was just like, oh, well, come on. There's clearly a different place you could do this. And Timmer Fins is saying that too. And basically telling him, I don't want to start drama with you here. Please refrain from talking about this in Timmer Fins server, please. Don't drag him into this. Because I don't want this, you know, being, you know, exposed with a lot of people. That's that's not something I want. And then um, they were like, yeah, he has nothing to do with it. And like they're like, this is something that should be discussed in private. Everyone's agreeing with that. And then we kind of get off that topic because we just wanted to get away with it. So we're just like, oh, we want to play some TF2. And then he, and then he goes on to saying that, says the one making the fake exposed video. Now... If I were to make a fake exposed video, I don't think it'd be two hours long. Because keep in mind, some of the interviews I had with people are about 30 minutes long each, as you, you know, saw. So, yeah, it's not fake, okay? Trust me, this is not fake in any way. I'm just basically telling him to please stop. Just, like, stop. This is not something you should do in public. Other people are doing that as well. Timmer Fitz is saying, well, if you start drama, you're going to be banned for a day. And he's basically saying that he's trying to shine light on to me basically doing horrible things and that he's trying to prevent drama.
and says it again. So he basically says it twice. I'm not wanting to start any drama. That's not something I like to do. But if he's going to go around telling people all these different things, well, that's not my problem. So then he goes on to say, like, are you starting stuff? No, I, I didn't start anything. You're the one who joined the server talking about it. No, here he is not. I'm not. And, yeah, Tim Riffins is like, you're bringing it up here. Don't do that. He says, I'm not letting him get away scot-free. Edgy. Listen, okay? I didn't do a darn thing to you, okay? I have not done a darn thing to you in seven months, okay? You're all of a sudden coming out of nowhere, basically trying to slander my name, okay? I have not done a dang thing to you. Neither has a lot of other people. Of course, some have, but problem being is that you're starting to do this out in public. That's another main reason that reassures me what I'm doing is right. Timber Finch is essentially saying, do that in your own video. Please don't do that in my server. And Edgy Void says, y'all don't know the law. This is defamation. It needs to be stopped. I don't know why I even bother. Yeah, I don't know why you bother. I seriously don't. Why do you bother harassing me? W what are you gaining out of it? And no, this is not defamation. This is truth, and a lot of other people are starting to realize it too, like Timberfins and Doozy, okay? They both already know most of the details, so just don't, Edgy. And then Timberfins is saying, well, the rule says no drama, and Edgy's saying it's not drama. Despite the fact, literally saying, or at least dancing around the fact that it is. And then... The end of it is him saying, please don't start it and don't bring it in. Edgy Void just says, fuck the server, ban me already, because I already left. Now, if you remember, this is the same exact thing he did on the streamer's server. He basically said, after me and the streamer and a few other friends pulled him aside, asked him, do you know what you did? Do you know what you did? He just said, just kick me, just ban me. Just do that already. And then he left the server. History is repeating itself. And now, a lot of other people saw it too. Including Toofty and Doozy. Or at least, they can go back and see it anyway. So, and that was the end of it. So, what can you take away from this? That Edgy is not someone you should deal with. Also, might I add, during this, I also caught wind of these bad boys. These are actually screenshots of from his server and PMs that people have had with him recently today. Because keep in mind, this happened within the span of like five hours. So he's not wanting to associate with me in the slightest, which is fine. I don't want to associate with you either if this is the way you're going to treat people in the TF2 community and myself. So... Wonderful, is it not? What you could take away from this is that you yourself should ask questions. Edgy himself isn't a bad person. He just made horrible decisions. Everything that I've said and anything anyone else has ever said in this video should be taken into consideration, not as gospel. Form your own opinions and ask questions yourself. Maybe even talk to Edgy himself and get his own input. I recommend if you chatted with him and want to hear my side, do the same. My DMs on Twitter, Discord server, Steam profile, and other outlets are always open. Thanks for being here and listening to a topic I didn't want to talk about nor discuss in public. Stay tuned for less drama-related content and more upbeat content. And as I always say, arrivederci.